Hi, welcome to Milk and Honey Heritage Farms, and I'm Heather, and we're going to be making some deviled eggs together. So let me take you along, and I welcome you to the channel, and thank you so much for being here and watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you've ever made your own deviled eggs, and say what, what you put in yours. And let's get started. So in my mixer to make my mayo, I'm um, adding one egg, room temperature egg, one cup of oil of your choice, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of white vinegar, one tablespoon of mustard of your choice. It can be powdered or whatever kind of mustard you choose. One teaspoon of some type of seasoning. I added in some garlic and some homemade seasoning rub that I um, put together. And a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And so then what you do is you slowly, you put all your ingredients in your mixer and you slowly add the oil in as it's mixing until it becomes the right consistency, consistency, for what you're looking for for your mayo. So I will bring you back once the mayo is all ready to go. There we go. All right, so my mayo is ready to go. And so I will explain to you, let me make sure I can get you close enough to see, hold on, the camera crew's on vacation, so I'm happy to figure it all out. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So I boiled my eggs and um, I cooled them off and then I refrigerated them and then I cut them in half and I took the um, yolk out of it, except for that one was a little bit difficult, but that's all right. And then what I did is I took the yellow parts and some of the eggs that cracked and weren't completely in a half, so like they would crack, you know, in different ways. And I... Um, have been smashing with a fork to get smaller bits and pieces and you just want to keep mixing around and if you see some bigger um, pieces you'll want to mash them down and get them smaller so what we're doing right here is we're making the deviled egg filling okay so then what I have is I have some onions um, the amount of stuff is going to depend be dependent upon if you like it or want more or less. So it's kind of hard to give an exact recipe on that. Um, I do have pickles that I had canned up myself that I'm adding to this um, egg mixture. Okay. And then I have my mayo and I'm going to put mayo in and I'm just going to add um, a little at a time so that way I don't get too much or not enough. I had to take that off so I can get in here and add some of my mayo and then I'm just gonna put a little bit in and my mayo's got seasonings and stuff like in it like I explained in the beginning so now we're just going to um, keep incorporating the egg mixture and mixing it around, making sure that you get the mayo. And you can use store-bought mayo too if you want. Um, I have some lactose intolerant family members that will be eating these deviled eggs, so making my own mayo and knowing what's in there, they can then eat it or have deviled eggs. So I'm just adding a a sum at a time. I've got extra that I made because I'm going to be making bacon um, potato salad after this, but that'll be in another video. So you just mix it up until you get it to the right consistency that you want it. Um, you can use a fork, you can use a spatula, whatever you want to use, and you just keep mixing around. And I would have to say this is enough. I don't want to add too much or too little, and I'm going to give it a try 
to make sure I don't want to add any more seasonings or spices. And I'm using a clean spoon, walking away to taste test. Voila, I think it tastes just fine. Usually I don't taste my own food. I usually have somebody else taste it. And then so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your little egg half and you're just gonna fill it in. And you can um, bubble it up a little bit so it looks nice and full, okay? So you'll get all those filled and then I'll bring you back to the end and show you the end results. All right, so I've got that all filled up. And you know, I used to have this little um, tray that had the little divots that would hold each individual egg. Um, for some reason, I can't figure out what I did with it. Anyway, so I'm going to be adding some smoked paprika for the top to give it just a little bit of a um, spiced spice. And you want to just sprinkle a little bit around here and there. All right. And then um, if you want, you can sprinkle some diced up parsley or cilantro or chives. So you can do that to garnish it and make it look nice. And then um, you always want to include some kind of serving spoon or something inside um, whatever dish that you're serving up so that people don't have to put their fingers in there and touch all of them. Um, I've got some of these little grabber dealy mabobs that I use for stuff like that. So there you have it. I'm going to put a lid on and put them in the refrigerator until we're ready to eat them. Make sure that you keep these cool, cold. You can put um, a bigger container underneath the container you're using and put some ice in the container below it, and that'll help keep it cool. Um, the remaining amount of mixture, egg mixture that I have, I will end up putting it in a smaller container in case somebody wants to put, use that as a side dish when they're eating their meal. So there you have it. Give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Mustard of your choice. You can use mustard powder or you can use um, um, our, an already made mustard. It's up to you. I'm using already pre-made. Sorry, that was so gross. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's the mustard. <laughs> what a great video, huh? Everybody's going to be thinking that was me. Uh-uh, it wasn't. <laughs> and then... Um...